Well, good afternoon and welcome back to another installment of Low Def Media. Today, I want to talk to you about my recent experience. I uh, went on a little vacation and I have a confession to make. I have, over the span of a probably, probably one or two years, accumulated a variety of different photography and video tools. And I came to a revelation this past week. And it's probably one that you've dealt with as well. It's, it's probably a revelation you've had or um, you can benefit from my revelation. Because here's what happened. Got about a three or four day long vacation. Decided I wanted to vlog the entire thing. And I wanted to get all kinds of video. And then I was gonna put that, I was gonna compile all that and make a travel video. It, not for YouTube or for any kind of commercial success. No, just for me to, to show the highlights. So what do I pack? I pack the typical DSLR, which I'm uh, recording on now. I take, well, let me just, let me just look around. Um, I took my Fuji um, XA5. It's a 4K mirrorless, pretty compact. Um, thought that this would be a nice uh, addition. Um, let's see, I took, um, oh, took my GoPro. This did actually come in very handy, but I took this and I took an iPhone. So I took all these tools, took a tripod and um, took microphones, even took a drum. So here's what happened. So on this trip, I have all these expectations, the highest of hopes. But what ends up happening is on this trip, all that stuff weighs a lot. And so with the DSLR, I had three different lenses. Then I got this other camera. Then I've got the GoPro. Then I've got my iPhone. And with my iPhone, I had all kinds of other attachments, you know, a selfie stick or a microphone. And so if anything happened, I ditched the backpack because it just became too much work. Carrying a backpack with all kinds of camera equipment that's just that's heavy and then you're you're walking around stores and you're trying to get in and out of places and it just becomes you know a task it's it's work so what did I end up doing well uh, first I just took my iPhone and I had a, a selfie stick that I that I took with me and what this stick allowed me to do was to use Bluetooth to start recording or take pictures if I wanted to extend the selfie stick out. And so it had a lot of flexibility to it. Um, I could spin it around and capture what I was seeing. Uh, so the selfie stick by itself was, and it, it fit in my pocket. So that combined with the image quality of the phone just became my primary tool. Now you have to be very cognizant of how you're filming because if you're trying to edit everything together to make a film then you have or a movie then you have to film in landscape but if you're going to put it on instagram then you can put that um, in vertical so or portrait mode so that was one of the stumbling blocks but other than that great image allow me to record things on the fly. I did use the GoPro a couple times, but the DSLR and the Fuji mirrorless, didn't really use those. And isn't that the primary purpose? You get these cameras so that you can, when you go out, you can take really great pictures and capture video. But then you go on the trip, you don't use them. So I heard an interesting quote uh, this past week the best tool is the one you use. So I see this all the time on YouTube. People are saying, what camera should I get? What 
kind of gear should I buy? And the best answer I've heard to that question is the one you're going to use. So you can go out and buy a $2,000 Sony camera, but if that's not the one you're going to use, then it's not the best tool. I tended to gravitate to a phone I already had in my pocket or a camera that I already had in my pocket. It was my phone. And it did the job. And what I'll do is after this video or maybe over the top, I'll put some of those images that I, I grabbed. The same thing with the uh, GoPro. Great images. And I was able to vlog with that while I was, you know, on the road. And it's it's easy to carry around and it doesn't, it's not as noticeable as a DSLR. When you're recording with the DSLR and you got the microphone on top like I've got, I mean, it's very noticeable and it's heavy. It's on a stick and you gotta hand, you gotta hold it out. And just not the best. And even if you're, okay, even if you're not vlogging, even if you're just gonna use it to take pictures with, I did that. I went to a lighthouse and I went to, I was gonna take pictures with my Canon. And yeah, I did, I took some pictures and I took some video and it was, it was okay. But then I had to climb stairs to get up to the top of the lighthouse. Now on the way up, I took some pictures, but I gotta be totally honest, as I'm climbing up to the top and it's the typical spiral staircase all the way up to the top, I felt very uncomfortable holding my camera in one hand and then holding the rail in the other. I didn't have a strap because I, I don't like a strap when I'm out and around because it just, the thing bounces all over the place and you look like the typical tourist. I, tip, I tend to hold the camera in my hand. That way I can just take a shot when I need to and I don't have to try and maybe the cord's not long enough or whatever. So I don't, I don't deal with that very often. But as I'm going up, I felt very uncomfortable holding the camera, holding the rail. So maybe you can learn from me. If you're going to go on a vacation or if you're going to go on a trip and you're concerned about what camera to take, take the one you're going to use. Take the one you feel most comfortable with. Take the one that's going to fit your lifestyle. Let, let me show you something. This camera right here, I'm gonna put it right there, is the Fuji Fine Pick XP90. Nothing fancy about it. Shoots 1080, um, 30, maybe even, I think 60 frames a second if it's in 1080. You're not gonna get, it's a 16 megapixel camera. You're not gonna get the best image out of it. But what I found, look at this thing. It's waterproof, it's dustproof. I can drop it and it's still gonna keep working. And so when I'm out and I wanna video something, this is the way to go. A GoPro is the way to go because they fit in any bag. So today, the purpose of this vlog is to encourage you to continue to be creative, but surround yourself with the right tools, the tools that you are going to use to support your creativity. I can show you, looking here, look at this table. I've got all kinds of gadgets and gizmos and, and things to help with recording and with video, but I find that I don't use them as often as I thought because they don't really fit into the style of videography that I use. So the best tool is the one you use. So go out there, be creative. Don't get wrapped around the axle about which tool you have or what you should have. Find the one that works for you. This particular DSLR, three or four years old, only costs about four or $500. I've got a $5 microphone on top of it. Uh, I've got a couple other, the, the Fuji camera was only 120. The, the Fuji XA5 was 400. So you don't really have to break the bank to find a tool. The key is 
mastering that tool, using how to, learning how to use it very well. And then once you've done that, then, and you've decided I need a better tool, now you know what tool to move to and, and how to use it to maximize your creativity. This is Mike, Low Def Media. We'll see you in the next one.